Good morning and welcome to We Are the Church. This is a ministry of daily encouragement from the First United Methodist Church of Orange, located in Orange, California. A very happy Tuesday, November 3rd to you. It's election day in the United States. That's a big day. And if you haven't voted yet, you need to get out there and do that and you need to go soon. So let's start the music and we'll have a brief word and reflection together and then you go get them. Friends, I want to read to you from uh, uh, just the first two verses of Titus chapter 3. Titus is a very short letter attributed to Paul and written to uh, one of his protégés named Titus, who was doing a ministry in Crete. Paul had left him there to do that ministry. He wrote to him to remind him why he was there in the first place, and he told him to continue to insist on teaching good, sound doctrine. And then he was reminding uh, uh, Titus to couple the good words that he was speaking with good works and to insist that the church be not only a church of words and doctrine, but a church of action as well. Some have called this a United Methodist book because it is insisting that true faith must emerge not only in right thinking and right uh, words, but also in right living and in the practice of our faith among the neighbors and the friends that we know. So listen to the first two verses of chapter 3 in the book of Titus. He says, Remind them to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready for every good work, and to speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle, and to show every courtesy to everyone. Wow, that's a, that's a far cry from what we've been seeing in the news lately to be subject, even if you're on the losing side of an election, to be submitting to the authorities and obedient to what they determine will be the best for our country, to do this in such a way that we are not quarreling or we're not pounding our fists on the desk, that we are somehow uh, practicing a gentleness and a, and a winsomeness among our friends and neighbors so that they are drawn to the light of Christ and not repelled by the name of Christian. This is um, hard for us to imagine right now, and, and it would have been even harder in the time of the early church because they would have never dreamed, those early Christians, they would have never dreamed of a time when Rome would say that Christianity was the official religion of Rome. Christians were being persecuted, not only by the Romans, but also by people in the synagogues who were seeing the Christians as the reason that the Jewish faith was struggling in Jerusalem. And so, and so, uh, to, to be told that we are to submit to the authorities um, would have been a, a, something outlandish at, at the time. But what Paul was hooking in on was something that Jesus himself said, if you want to be first among the faithful, you have to be least of all and servant of all. When we adopt a servant attitude, then even when things aren't going our way, even when the government is showing antipathy toward the church, we can still say, how might we serve you today? How can we wash your feet? How can we do the things you require of us in such a way that um, we end up making you smile and we end up praying for you as you go along? This is the attitude and, the, and the, the heart with which we have to come to an election day today. Some of us are going to see the candidates and the initiatives and the, and the resolutions that we support prevail, and some of us are going to see those people and those initiatives we most want to support uh, get voted down this time. That's just how it is. But uh, this is us being the United States. And our role as Christians in the midst of all of that is to do uh, so in such a way that we avoid quarreling, that we are gentle, and that we uh, show every courtesy to every person. That's our mission today. That's what we are required to do. So go out there and be light to the world. Go out there and be leaven in the loaf. And when you hear frustrated people smile and say, this is hard work being in a democracy, isn't it? And when you hear people gloating, say, listen, we, we don't need to do the end zone dance. You, you've already moved the needle where you want to move it. 
Now let's show some class as we go along. Be a coach today. Help the people around you live with civility. And remember that we aren't a divided nation at all, but we are a nation of people who disagree on issues, but who stand shoulder to shoulder as one United States of America. We can do this. We can do this as Christians. This is our role today, to be the light and the leaven that, uh, that helps even things out and brings peacefulness forward from this day. And in the meantime, let me have a prayer with you for this election day. Loving God, we do lift up these prayers to you today, knowing that you are the God of every nation and not just ours. There are people in every land upon the earth who have hopes and dreams. And Lord, we are so grateful that in the place where we live, we can pursue these hopes and dreams with a freedom and with a, a sense of opportunity that early Christians could never even have imagined. We are grateful to you, Lord, for this. And on this day, we pray for those who have aspired to hold offices. For those who are defeated, give them grace to uphold our nation and its ideals in defeat. And to those who prevail, give them an even deeper grace to welcome those who have disagreed as brothers and sisters so that justice may prevail across the land. For each of us, O oh Lord, give us that special strength and grace to speak evil of no one, to avoid needless quarreling, to practice gentleness on this day, and to show every courtesy to every person we meet, remembering that we ourselves were once foolish and lost without you, but you have made us to be servants of all, so that we might be truly free in serving you. And we pray this now, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, I am so proud of you. I'm so proud to be your pastor. I know you're going to come through this day with a lot of uh, strength and with a lot of character and with the Spirit of Christ strong in your hearts. So go out there today and be an encouragement to somebody else. And when you go out and when you come in, remember to wash your hands. Remember to read a psalm. Remember to tell everyone you meet today that you love them in Christ's name. I'll see you soon.